The Truth About Actor Chris Hemsworth, Christopher Hemsworth, born August 11, 1983, is an Australian actor. He is known for playing Kim Hyde in the Australian TV series Home and Away, 2004-07, and Thor in the Marvel Cinematic Universe since 2011. Hemsworth has also appeared in the science fiction action film Star Trek, 2009, the thriller adventure A Perfect Getaway, 2009. The horror comedy The Cabin in the Woods, 2012, the dark fantasy action film Snow White and the Huntsman, 2012, the war film Red Dawn, 2012, and the biographical sports drama film Rush, 2013. In 2015, he starred in the action thriller film Black Hat, had a comedic role in the fifth installment of National Lampoon's Vacation series, Vacation, and headlined the biographical thriller film In the Heart of the Sea. The following year, Hemsworth had a supporting role in Sony's reboot of Ghostbusters. Hemsworth will reprise his role as George Kirk in the upcoming Star Trek sequel. Early life, Hemsworth was born in Melbourne, to Lenny, an English teacher, and Craig Hemsworth, a social services counselor. He is the middle of three boys. His brothers Luke, older, and Liam, younger, are also actors. His maternal grandfather is a Dutch immigrant and his other ancestry is English, Irish, Scottish, and German. He was raised both in Melbourne and in the Australian outback in Bowman, Northern Territory. He has stated, My earliest memories were on the cattle stations up in the outback, and then we moved back to Melbourne and then back out there and then back again. Certainly most of my childhood was in Melbourne but probably my most vivid memories were up there in Bowman with crocodiles and buffalo. Very different walks of life. He attended high school at Hethmon College before his family again returned to the Northern Territory, and then moved a few years later to Phillip Island. Career, 2002-10, Beginnings, in 2002, Hemsworth starred in two episodes of fantasy television series, Guinevere Jones as King Arthur. He also made an appearance in soap opera series Neighbors and one episode of Martial Law. In 2004, Hemsworth auditioned for the Australian soap opera Home and the Way role of Robbie Hunter, played by Jason Smith, but did not receive the part. He was subsequently recalled for the part of Kim Hyde and moved to Sydney to join the cast, appearing in 171 episodes of the series. He left the cast of Home and the Way on July 3, 2007. Hemsworth was a contestant on the fifth season of Dancing with the Stars Australia, partnered with professional dancer Abby Ross. The season premiered on September 26, 2006, and after six weeks, Hemsworth was eliminated, November 7, 2006. In 2009, Hemsworth portrayed James T. Kirk's father, George Kirk, in the opening scenes of J.J. Abrams' film Star Trek. He played the character Kale in the thriller A Perfect Getaway the same year. He went on to play Sam in 2010's Dollar H which was the first film he shot when he arrived in the United States. The film's director, Stephen Milburn Anderson, said Hemsworth had only been in the United States for six weeks when he had auditioned for the role, recalling, Here's a guy who is young, has the right look, is a very good actor and, let's face it, he's beautiful. So I say, we need to get this guy in. I was very impressed. In November 2010, the Hollywood Reporter named Hemsworth as one of the young male actors who are pushing, or being pushed onto the Hollywood A-list. Sony Pictures announced in 2011 that Hemsworth would star in the thriller Shadow Runner, which did not subsequently go into production as of 2014. 2011 Present, Thor and Success Hemsworth, right, with Thor co-star Tom Hiddleston at the 2010 San Diego Comic Con International. He is best known for his role as the Marvel Comics superhero Thor in the 2011 Marvel Studios film Thor. He and castmate Tom Hiddleston, who ultimately played Loki, had each auditioned for the role, for which Hemsworth said he put on 20 pounds of muscle. Hemsworth reprised the role in the 2012 film The Avengers as one of the six superheroes sent to defend Earth from his adopted brother, Loki. He starred in the horror film The Cabin in the Woods which was shot shortly after the release of Star Trek but went unreleased until 2012. It led Hemsworth to audition for the role of Thor at Joss Whedon's insistence. Also that year, 
Hemsworth starred opposite Chris and Stewart in the film Snow White and the Huntsman as the Huntsman. He also played Jed Eckert in the 2012 Red Dawn remake, a role he was cast in after MGM saw Daly's footage of a scene from Cabin in the Woods. Hemsworth received the part of Thor two days after being hired for Red Dawn. In 2013, Hemsworth starred in Ron Howard's sports drama film Rush, alongside Daniel Brühl's 1976 Formula One world champion James Hunt, and reprised his role as Thor, in the sequel Thor, The Dark World. People magazine, in an annual feature, named him as 2014 Sexiest Man Alive. In 2015, Hemsworth starred in director Michael Mann's action thriller Black Hat, opposite Viola Davis, and reprised his role of Thor for the fourth time in the sequel to The Avengers, Avengers, Age of Ultron. Hemsworth returned to the set of Home and Away in November 2014 to film a scene as an extra and not as his character Kim Hyde he appeared in the episode broadcast on May 19, 2015. Also in 2015, he co-starred in the comedy film Vacation, along with Ed Helms, a revival of the film series that originally starred Chevy Chase. His last 2015 film was In the Heart of the Sea, based on the book of the same name by Nathaniel Philbrick with Hemsworth playing first mate Owen Chase. In an interview with Jimmy Kimmel, he revealed that to prepare for the role of starving sailors, the cast was put on a diet of 500 to 600 calories a day to lose weight. In 2016, Hemsworth reprised the role of Eric the Huntsman in The Huntsman, Winter's War and also portrayed Kevin the Receptionist in Ghostbusters. Hemsworth also reprised his role as Thor in Thor, Ragnarok released on November 3, 2017 in the United States, and will reprise his role in the two upcoming films Avengers, Infinity War and its untitled sequel, scheduled for release in 2018 and 2019. He will also reprise his role as George Kirk in the fourth film of the rebooted Star Trek film series. In the media, an Australian rules football fan who supports the Western Bulldogs, Hemsworth was the star of the Australian Football League's 2014 Everything's Possible campaign. He donated fees for his involvement to the Australian Children Foundation. Hemsworth would go on to star in the AFL's 2017 I'd Like to See That commercial. Personal life, Hemsworth began dating Spanish actress Elsa Paddock in early 2010 after meeting through their mutual representatives, and they wed in December 2010. They have three children a daughter born in 2012 and twin sons born in 2014. In 2015, he and his family moved from Los Angeles to Byron Bay in his native Australia, as he no longer needs to be in the United States in order to secure film work. Mini Thor Chris Hemsworth's son is adorably following in his superhero footsteps, Chris Hemsworth may have the next generation Avenger right in his own family. On Tuesday, the actor, 34, shared an adorable behind-the-scenes photo of him and one of his three kids on the set of his now-release Marvel film, Thor, Ragnarok. The passing of the torch, Hemsworth captioned the picture on Instagram and Twitter of his long-haired alter ego holding hands with the little one, who is dressed in a Stars and Stripes cape. Hemsworth and wife Elsa Paddock are parents to three-year-old twin son Sasha and Tristan as well as five-year-old daughter India Rose. The father of three previously joked that his kids are wildly unimpressed with his movie career when he brought them onto the set. They were like, this is so boring. We thought you fought monsters for a living and you don't, Hemsworth told E. News in October. The proud parent is currently having a blast with his other superhero friends shooting Avengers, Infinity War. We're shooting the next Avengers movie at the moment, and we did a scene the other day with Robert Downey Jr., Jeremy Renner, Chris Evans, Mark Ruffalo, and all of us were sitting there, going, who knows if we're ever going to get a chance to do this again, and what a ride it's been, Hemsworth recently told Entertainment Weekly. Hopefully that's a friendship that will carry for a long, long time. I'm very lucky. Chris Hemsworth is on a hero's journey, Chris Hemsworth arrives early, about 10 minutes before his call time for the photo shoot. This is highly unusual for a movie star, but here he is. Even more surprising is that when he marches through the door, he's alone, without an entourage or even a lone handler. He has just flown into Los Angeles this morning from Las Vegas, where he spent the previous night at the Floyd Mayweather-Conor McGregor bout.
We know this because he posted a selfie on Instagram while traveling on a private plane and whooping it up with various friends, among them super producer Jerry Bruckheimer, his agent, William Ward, and his personal trainer and childhood friend Luke Zaki. The hashtag, best day ever. But the day after, his eyelids are a little heavier, his enthusiasm dimmed from his pre-fight high. He is offered a beer, which he politely declines saying he had a few the night before. It raises the question, did Thor, the Norse god of thunder portrayed by Hemsworth in four films, get hammered last night? He greets everyone warmly, then disappears to clean up and change clothes. He re-emerges and takes his place on set in front of a grey background. And then, seemingly in an instant, Chris Hemsworth, Aussie surfer dude and Vegas fight fan, becomes Chris Hemsworth. Hollywood leading man and bankable action franchise hero whose fifth turn as the god, Thor, Ragnarok, comes out in November. At one point, he's handed a pocket knife and a green apple. He tosses the apple in the air and impales it on the blade perfectly on the first try. The shoot wraps up quickly, to Hemsworth's obvious relief. His energy seems to dissipate as quickly as it emerged. Still, even when he's exhausted, it's not hard to see the actor's appeal to understand why people named him the sexiest man alive in 2014, at age 31. I ask him if the honorific came with a plaque or statuette. I think there was a little trophy or something, but I don't know where it is, he says. He's quick to point out that it happened way back in 2014. It's gone, the actor deadpans. It's faded. Lost my title. This is something else you quickly learn about Hemsworth. He's legit funny. And not just in terms of delivering a screenwriter's well-crafted quip but instinctively. He has done a couple of smart and hilarious online spoofs as Thor deciding to live like a mortal, sharing an apartment with an everyday office worker, and hosted Saturday Night Live twice in 2015. Those comedic chops were seriously put to the test in the recent Ghostbusters reboot. In the spirit of the film's gender reversal, Hemsworth played a dopey male bimbo who works as an assistant to the four female ghost hunters. It was, he says, far more challenging than playing a superhero. I saw the director Paul Feig the night before I started shooting, and I'd just gotten the new script, he tells me. I said, look, I don't know what I'm doing here. I don't know what I'm supposed to do tomorrow on the set. And he said, cool. We'll work it out. We'll just keep rolling and go for it. In other words, you're improvising. That man trading barbs on the spot with Chris and Wieg, Melissa McCarthy, Leslie Jones, and Kate McKinnon, four of the most talented comedic minds on the planet. As it happened, Hemsworth scored some of the funniest lines in the movie. If you're keeping score at home, you now know that Hemsworth is improbably handsome, preternaturally photogenic, adventurous, multi-talented, funny, friendly and modest. These are all fine qualities, of course, but when they are bundled into one person, it's a bit much. McCarthy came to the same conclusion. During the promotional tour for Ghostbusters, she and her three co-stars appeared on The Graham Norton Show. Asked about Hemsworth, McCarthy says, I have never rooted for someone maybe to be just an unbelievable jerk. I just needed something to be wrong with him. Says McKinnon. I'll bet he doesn't even have boogers. If he had heard it, Hemsworth would have found all this amusing. He's game for a bit of self-mocking, which is not unusual for an Australian. The country has a built-in ego regulator called the tall poppy syndrome. If you're a high achiever, a tall poppy, others will cut you down to size. You aren't allowed to feel good about what you've achieved, Hemsworth says. You've got to hide that sense of pride. Otherwise, people remind you very quickly that you're getting ahead of yourself. The superhero origin story is a staple of the genre, with its own simple logic and mission, you learn the source and limit of the superpowers. How the hero earned the snappy outfit. When the arch nemesis begin to torment the good guy, all the core experiences that motivate the superhero to pursue his or her destiny. Take Thor, the Norse god of thunder and son of King Odin. Thor and his magic hammer were cast out of Odin's kingdom and exiled to Earth. Blessed with physical prowess to match his status, 
Thor eventually reclaims his hammer and saves the world on those occasions the world needs saving. These days, that apparently happens roughly every three years. So we know how Thor happened. How did Chris Hemsworth happen? The son of a social services counselor father and English teacher mother, Hemsworth spent his childhood in Melbourne in the Northern Territory, a rugged, remote part of the Australian outback. He was preoccupied with surfing, waking up every morning at 4 a.m. to catch waves before school. He and his brothers, Liam and Luke, were obsessed with it, he says, in love with the ocean and the coast, it's where most of our free time was spent. The vivid memories of the untamed land stayed with him. Having a sense of adventure was instilled in me at a very young age, Hemsworth says. I think that's part of the attraction to why I wanted to travel and work in the film industry. Hemsworth landed his big break in 2004, when he scored a role on the popular Aussie soap opera Home and Away, the long-running melodrama that also launched the careers of Isla Fisher, Heath Ledger, and Naomi Watts. After three years, Hemsworth moved to the States, where he caught the eye of J.J. Abrams, who tapped him to play James Kirk's father in a small but memorable part in 2009 as Star Trek reboot, followed by an audition to play Thor. It feels like one big adventure, he says, every new location or film set I walk on. Hemsworth's siblings apparently feel similarly. Both also became successful actors, Liam, of Hunger Games fame, and fiancé of Miley Cyrus, and Luke, who had a recurring role on the HBO hit West Cruel. In Ragnarok, Hemsworth's Thor finds himself saving the world from an apocalypse at the hands of the goddess of death, Kate Blanchett a nasty piece of work who comes off as the universe's ultimate mean girl. She's not satisfied with just killing you and decimating your planet. She wants to hurt your feelings too. Thor is up to the task of not just heading off the apocalypse but also trading insults with friends, frenemies, and foes alike, including the Hulk, Mark Ruffalo, and the villainous Loki, Tom Hiddleston. Hemsworth also played the Marvel superhero in two Avengers films with the third installment, Avengers, Infinity War, planned for 2018. Getty, that's a lot of hammering. And a lot of CGI. A big part of me really wants to find smaller, character-driven films and not be distracted by the special effects and green screens, Hemsworth says. So between the blockbusters, he has landed roles as a womanizing Formula One driver, Rush, a cyber criminal, Black Hat and a sailor on a whaling ship, in the heart of the sea. His upcoming film Horse Soldiers, set to hit theaters in January, is an even bigger departure. Based on a true story and co-starring Michael Shannon, Michael Pena, and Rob Riggle, the film is about a group of U.S. Special Forces in Afghanistan who team with Northern Alliance warlords to take out the Taliban. Hemsworth plays Captain Mitch Nelson, the leader of the American unit. It was really intense. Hemsworth says. It was a low budget considering the scope of the film, so it was just go, go, go. We were rewriting stuff on the fly, constantly workshopping the scenes, and speaking to a lot of military advisors and people who were involved in the story. For Riggle, the film was intensely personal. He's a Marine Corps veteran whose unit served around Mazar i Sharif in Afghanistan, arriving shortly after the events depicted in the film. But Hemsworth, Riggle says, had no problem pulling off the role. He is a true professional, Riggle says of his co-star. He worked hard. He was focused. He was curious. He was present. I was very impressed with him. Nikolai Fugelsig, the director, also has battlefield experience. He served as a tank commander in the Danish military and worked as a photojournalist during the conflict in the Balkans. He needed to have a certain type of quiet confidence and strength to be believable as a great leader, Fugelsig says, but that seems to come natural to Chris. When he's not on location, he prefers to be in the water. And the bigger the waves are, the better. He and his wife, actress Elsa Padukey, they met on a blind date in 2010, live in Byron Bay, a small beach town on Australia's east coast in New South Wales near such legendary Aussie breaks as Phillip Island, Victoria, Malakuta, and Julian Rocks. I've had a lot of scary incidents, he says, but if the risk factor is a little high than usual, 
that makes it all the more interesting. When the water is more peaceful, he's out teaching his three kids, a five-year-old daughter and three-year-old twin boys, to ride. My wife is always saying, come on, let's do something different. And I'm like, if it's as good as surfing, sure. Photo by Michael Schwartz, Hemsworth appears wary of the corrupting influences of Hollywood fame and fortune. Whatever success I have had has been because of having the right people around me and having close friends to keep me grounded, he says. It's very easy to get swept up in all that madness, but when you got your mates, they make it fun and distract you when you get too involved in the work. His personal trainer, Luke Zaki, is a childhood friend who travels with him to movie sets all over the world. The two have known each other since they were six. As they got older, they worked out together in a boxing gym. When Hemsworth was cast as Thor, he asked his friend to be his off-and-on-set personal trainer. We'll train our hardest before the shoot, Zaki says. On set it's more about maintaining. I help police his food and feed him the right stuff. For certain scenes, I'll be there on the sidelines pumping his arms up. Adds Hemsworth, we're constantly pushing each other. And Hemsworth shows no sign of letting up. After all, even the most successful actors speak of a gnawing insecurity of suddenly falling out of favor and never being cast. There's always that bit of doubt or fear, he says, which JSUT sort of keeps you hungry and keeps you motivated. The actor Anthony Hopkins once gave him some advice. I was talking to him about this very thing, and he told me he was once flying out of L.A. on a private plane. He looked out the window and saw this old house that he lived in when he first moved to L.A. He said, who would have ever thought however many years later he'd be sitting in a private plane going to star in this huge production. He said, you've just got to appreciate every moment because it goes so quick. Make the absolute most of it, and treat everyone with respect. Enjoy every opportunity. Never take it for granted. Hemsworth doesn't. A lot of times you don't get to make that decision, he says. I think your audience chooses to say whether your time's up or not. This is a demo of the Voice Text English TTS system. Awards and Nominations, Year, 2011 Teen Choice Awards Choice Movie, Breakout Mail, 2012 British Academy Film Awards Rising Star, People's Choice Awards Favorite Movie Superhero, MTV Movie Awards Best Hero, Teen Choice Awards Choice Movie Actor. Sci-Fi Fantasy The Avengers, Choi Summer Movie Star, Male The Avengers and Snow White and the Huntsman, 2013 People's Choice Awards Favorite Movie Superhero The Avengers, Favorite On-Screen Chemistry, Shared with Kristen Stewart, Snow White and the Huntsman, Favorite Action Movie Star The Avengers and Snow White and the Huntsman, Kids' Choice Awards Favorite Male Buttkicker The Avengers, MTV Movie Awards Best Fight, Teen Choice Awards Choice Movie Actor, Action Red Dawn, 2014 Teen Choice Awards Choice Movie Actor, Sci-Fi Fantasy Thor, The Dark World, 2015 Teen Choice Awards Choice Movie Actor, Sci-Fi Fantasy, Choice Movie Actor, Drama Black Hat, 2016 People's Choice Awards Favorite Action Movie Actor Avengers, Age of Ultron and In the Heart of the Sea, Kids' Choice Awards Favorite Movie Actor Avengers, Age of Ultron, MTV Movie Awards Best Kiss, Shared with Leslie Mann, Vacation. Teen Choice Awards Choice Movie Actor, Action in the Heart of the Sea, Choice Movie Actor, Sci-Fi Fantasy The Huntsman, Winter's War, Choice Movie, Litplik, Shared with Jessica Shistain, Choice Summer Movie Star, Male Ghostbusters, 2017 People's Choice Awards Favorite Comedic Movie Actor, Kids Choice Awards Favorite Movie Actor, Favorite But Kicker. The Truth About Actor Chris Hemsworth, Christopher Hemsworth, born August 11, 1983, is an Australian actor. He is known for playing Kim Hyde in the Australian TV series Home and Away, 2004-07, and Thor in the Marvel Cinematic Universe since 2011. 
Hemsworth has also appeared in the science fiction action film Star Trek. Probably my most vivid memories were up there in Bowman with crocodiles and buffalo. Very different walks of life. He attended high school at Hethmon College before his family again returned to the Northern Territory, and then moved a few years later to Phillip Island. Career, 2002-10, Beginnings, in 2002, Hemsworth starred in two episodes of fantasy television series, Guinevere Jones as King Arthur. He also made, 2009, the thriller adventure A Perfect Getaway, 2009, the horror comedy The Cabin in the Woods, 2012. The dark fantasy action film Snow White and the Huntsman, 2012, the war film Red Dawn, 2012, and the biographical sports drama film Rush, 2013. In 2015, he starred in the action thriller film Black Hat, had a comedic role in the fifth installment of National Lampoon's Vacation series and Liam, younger, are also actors. His maternal grandfather is a Dutch immigrant, and his other ancestry is English, Irish, Scottish, and German. He was raised both in Melbourne and in the Australian outback in Bowman, Northern Territory. He has stated, my earliest memories were on the cattle stations up in the outback, and then we moved back to Melbourne and then back out there and then back again. Certainly most of my childhood was in Melbourne but this vacation, and headlined the biographical thriller film In the Heart of the Sea. The following year, Hemsworth had a supporting role in Sony's reboot of Ghostbusters. Hemsworth will reprise his role as George Kirk in the upcoming Star Trek sequel. Early life, Hemsworth was born in Melbourne, to Lenny, an English teacher, and Craig Hemsworth, a social services counselor. He is the middle of three boys. His brothers Luke, older, 